attention. Uh, you don't want my presentation to be recorded. I, no, no, it's not a problem. This this will be single recording, so each session will be recorded separately. It's started again for your session. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So thanks a lot. Uh, I hope you can see the presentation. Um, congratulations. Um, at uh, at first, I just saw there is some some eighty people or so in the call, so that's really good. Eighty three, it says at the moment. And I'm happy to tell you a little bit about uh, Salzburg Research. So meeting the uh, Ludwig Boltzmann Institute Digital Health and Prevention um, co-partner Salzburg Research here. So here is some, some slides. Now we are a, a smaller research institute, some 70 uh, people. We have been founded in 1996. I just calculated this. So we still have another 374 years uh, to go to be as old and as sublime as the University of Salzburg, but we, we're doing our best and uh, so we, we have a great uh, future still uh, to go. Our mission is to focus on the analytics of motion data uh, that is mainly in sports, say in skiing, in running, in biking, um, but also we analyze, uh, for instance, the, the movement of cars, of um, uh, of bicycles. So basically things in motion is uh, what we are addressing. Now, uh, typically we start with uh, some trends that affect our research work. Uh, one is the connectivity. So things are more and more connected. So you have a, a digital sensor, for instance, in your ski boot and it connects to your smartphone and may tell you about uh, how well your carving score is, how well you uh, are doing in skiing. Um, the data era is one of the driving um, trends. Um, we have discussed this, I think, uh, already in the first presentations today. Sustainability is, uh, of course, an important aspect, but not so relevant, I think, with relationship to our bridge to the Boltzmann Institute. And health style, I think, is um, an important uh, trend that uh, many of us are concerned with uh, in our ev everyday life, uh, ourselves, for instance, uh, but also in the work that we do with uh, industrial partners, uh, with research. So um, if we, uh, so to say, go that uh, list through, um, what does it mean to, to translate these trends into research projects? Then typically we start by finding the right sensor. As Josef also said, if you can't uh, measure it, you can't improve it. Uh, but measuring is difficult. Um, that may be inertial measurement units that you use, that may be pressure sensors, that may be smart textiles. Now, once things are, um, are equipped with the sensor, you need to connect and communicate the sensor signals in, I would call it a timely manner. So, oops, something just happened. Um, so some are talking about real time, some are talking about just in time, but in any case, you, you need to have the, the sensor signal um, at the right place, which may be a person's ear, which may be a person's eye, which may simply be a database uh, in the right time. Now, um, processing the data is an important issue here. We also see the collaboration with the MORE platform. Um, we all know that keeping the data in a, in a safe way, in a way that you can reconstruct uh, what you have had in terms of field tests uh, is very important because this is what we are all mainly interested in is the analysis of the data, the analytics with the different methods and different tools that we have from machine learning. Because at the end of the day, uh, we, um, uh, we, we want to generate uh, value for the users, uh, but also for the industrial partners that um, yeah, that, that sell these these products. And, and there is uh, various graphical uh, notations that one could use. Um, this is a more uh, sequential way of collecting data, creating information, creating value. But there is also a way that we often use that goes from sensing to connecting to processing to analytics to valorizing. And then basically starts by sensing again and say, if we would have a different sensor, then we could measure uh, different things. Now, this is basically 
uh, what we do every day and what we bring to the Boltzmann Institute. And wh why is this, this cooperation so important for us? Uh, typically, we have three application domains. One is, is sports and performance. The second one is daily life. And the third one is uh, rehabilitation, where we deal with people with injuries. Um, and uh, I think this, this one fits particularly well with respect to the um, interface to the, the Boltzmann Institute for Digital Health and uh, Rehabilitation, because um, uh, we... As a, as a research institute, uh, do not have the know-how with respect to medical or clinical aspects of motion. And this is why um, this collaboration with the Boltzmann Institute, I think, is especially uh, valuable for us. And also, um, if you think of uh, how well is a person doing, how well are you coping with uh, sportivity, with this healthy lifestyle, and this is not just a question of, um, of motion, but it's also a question of behavior, um, of emotion, uh, perhaps. Um, and um, again, back to the first point, uh, to clinical medical aspects that are related uh, to motion. And I think also important is to say that uh, the Boltzmann Institute uh, is uh, positioned more on the, the lower levels of the uh, technology readiness chain, so to say. So it's it's more academic than perhaps we are. So our mission as an RTO is more on the technology development. So uh, for us, this is important to get this results of the basic research uh, that the Institute provides us with, and then together build technologies in order to then uh, have industrial partners that take over. Um, now, what have we done? Where, where are existing synergies? Um, there is one PhD uh, that uh, we are very happy with, Sebastian Gruber. He will give a detailed presentation on Thursday afternoon at half past four. And the theme will be, I think Jan already mentioned this, um, um, customization, just-in-time uh, adaptive uh, interventions. It's a more technical thesis that uses uh, semantic web technology uh, in order to come up with multi-level customization uh, for doing different types of studies so that you can compare between the studies. So I think this is really uh, um, a fundamental basic research that Sebastian um, is doing here and that will uh, help us both the Boltzmann Institute but also Salzburg Research uh, to do field studies in, a, in an easier way. Now, what he does, I think, fits into the more platform. Um, so, as I said, processing the data, keeping the data is an important issue. And the platform will address this in, a, in an efficient way. And there is also joint projects that we do. Uh, for instance, the Connect to Move project. Also, Jan has uh, already mentioned this. I think this is, is quite successful. So where can we go from here? Last slide. Um, typically, um, we have a, a pyramid that uh, defines how one could work together. And the first part of that pyramid, so the basement, so to say, is exchanging information uh, so that in the next step, uh, one can learn together. And I think we are quite well underway in doing the first step. So we are obviously exchanging information. We have uh, now three years of collaboration. We learn together. Uh, based on that learning, we can do joint projects. As I said, there are examples for joint projects. Uh, we are in the process of submitting to Horizon Europe. Uh, we can jointly develop uh, further the more platform. So we are in this process of doing joint projects. In order to, at the end of the day, come up perhaps with a common strategy that would mean uh, establish an alliance in rehabilitation and motion in order to provide the critical mass and visibility on a European level. And if, say, in three or four years from now, we, we have achieved that third point uh, in a better way, then I think we can all congratulate ourselves and, and be happy. Okay, so thank you for your attention and I'm looking forward to any comments or questions that we would then uh, see uh, in the uh, question and answer session, I guess. So back to Andy, thank you.
Thank you very much, Stevie. Yeah, thanks for the valuable input from Salzburg Research and your team. It's really appreciated here. And uh, yeah, thank you for the good collaboration. As I said, Q&A, please into the chat.